Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Today we have a part two of basic cigar questions that people want to know. All right, so let's get started right away. First question. All right, the first question is basically what's the difference between body and strength? Body and strength. Okay, there are some reviewers that use two of the same. Like if somebody's talking about body, they're talking about strength. Someone's talking about strength, they're talking about body. All right. Sometimes they use as the same, but when they use as the same thing, they usually is taking talking about nicotine level, how much, how strong it is, and that will gauge whether or not how like how uh, how much you can take, how strong it is, um, before you get sick. All right. So if somebody says a full strength. That means that cigar is full of nicotine. All right. So if you smoke too fast, you're going to get sick. All right. So that's strength. But body, on the other hand, think of it as flavor profile. When someone say this thing is full body, it means the flavor is not watered down. You can taste a lot of flavor. It's immediate. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to search what you're smoking you can distinguish that uh, the flavor in a cigar compared to a Connecticut. Like Connecticut usually will be a very light bodied cigar because they're lighter. You just taste, you know, well, maybe I should say that majority of the bundle stick, they're like three to five dollar cigars. They tend to have a lighter body, whereas a premium cigar Usually you're gonna get more body because they use premium leaf that's more fermented stronger So they have, tend to have more body So body is flavor profile how strong the flavor is and strength how much nicotine how much would it get sick? Okay, so that will be body versus strength All right, so the next one will be why do people always tell you to retro hill and does that really make that much difference now the best way to tell people about um retro hill is that retro hill gets the smoke through your through your nose so you're gonna smell the flavor as much as tasting the flavor and usually smelling the flavor will bring you much more notes than tasting because um for example if you got sick and your nose is plugged, like, you know, you had a flu or something and your nose is plugged, you can't taste anything. And the reason is not because your, your taste buds is not really working anymore. It's still working, but it's not working as hard, right? And your nose is not smelling the food. It's not giving you more of the information, right? You have five senses and each, every single sense matters, right? You're feeling your touch, your smell, and your, your, your tasting, your visual, they all matter. Or maybe not hearing, you don't have to hear the cigar, but... but when you are tasting the cigar, the smell of the cigar enhances and a lot of time picks up more nuance and the notes than tasting it. Because when you're tasting it, your tongue doesn't have that much sensors to separate the notes, right? So when you have something that's sweet and sour, it tastes like one note, but then you can kind of, you have to separate sweet and sour. But the moment you smell sour, you will know. The moment you smell sweet, you will know. You don't have to taste it. Your brain already tell you what it tastes like. And it's a very important part of um, uh, distinguish what you are smoking, the notes. I help you remember what that was. Smelling a certain note will 
automatically tell you what it is. Why don't I ha had that flavor before? So now you got to say, well, Tony or some people who doesn't do retro hill, they still taste the notes. Yeah, you can. But you also have to keep in mind when you're smoking a cigar, it doesn't go to your lung, right? So a lot of time when you are puffing out, some smoke automatically travel through your nasal cavity. So you are smelling a little bit, but to get the full effect, to get the, the to enjoy and really pick up the note, you need to uh, learn how to retrohale. And uh, the best way uh, I can tell people to retrohale is really hold the smoke and exhale uh, through your nose at the same time pushing the air up, right? So if you try to just compress your mouth, like almost like swallowing, like, but don't swallow. Don't have that swallow process to it. Just close your mouth tighter inside. Almost like, almost try to swallow, but pushing your tongue up, you're gonna push the air in. While you're exhaling, that's gonna drive the air out of your nose. And just do a little bit at a time. Don't do a lot, because a lot is going to hurt your nose right away until you get used to it. So if you do a little bit at a time, eventually get used to it, and you'll be able to do a long stream of retro hill, and you're going to be able to smoke more. All right? So um, I heavily, heavily recommend that you retro hill. And I, I really think that uh, anybody who is smoking a cigar and doesn't retro hill tell you that they taste this and that, uh, they might not. They might not really be tasting it because th there are some notes that you can only get from retro hill. Okay, so that it will be why people need to retro hill. All right. So the next one, next question is, Tony, how do you get rid of all the cigar smell from you? All right. So two things, right? After I smoke, when I get home, I always brush my teeth, brush my teeth, uh, and you had to do rinse. And this is not sponsored, so I'm going to show you what I use, what I buy to uh, rinse my mouth. I get one of these small mouth uh, thing. You can get them in like a bottle that has like a two outlet. I like to buy them in individuals. It comes with a pump. And you mix them together because like I feel like this is more even. I can pump rather than dump. Like if I dump, tilt it, one side is gonna be more, the other side is gonna be less. This obviously is more, and I use it every day, so I don't mind to buy more. So I always buy the big ones. So for rinse, this. Now the next question is, what about the clothes? Okay. Now when I travel, that's right. I'm reviewing this cigar, so I have to keep going. Uh, when I travel. I'm wearing like the same two pair of jeans. So if I smoke, the jeans got to smell. And you know, you don't know you smell until you, you got out of the place, you get out of your car or riding the bus, but someone that you smell your pants, it still, it stinks, right? So I get something like this, like a shirt mist. Well, obviously this is Japanese. So I don't think you guys gotta have easy time to find this, but you can literally make this uh, using, uh, well, they use ethanol, but you can use rubbing alcohol. So some watered down rubbing alcohol and a little bit of menthol or mint extract or green tea extract with it to make it smell nice. And once you spray it, it will smell like mint and you won't smell like cigar anymore. And that works every single time. So I use this all the time when I cannot do it. I just mix water with a few drips of like mint uh, extract or mint alcohol. Uh, essence, that kind of stuff, and just spray through. Make sure you have enough alcohol because it will dry up really quickly. It will actually kill that smell. So you want that. It works. Uh, just like if your hands has a lot of cigar smell, you can use those um, uh, uh, hand sanitizer thing. It will get rid of that thing really quickly, right? Uh, in terms of the rinse your mouth, if you cannot rinse your mouth, they sell packets where you can just use the packet right away in the bathroom or something like that. If you cannot do that, the best way to do this is to eat. And I'm talking about eating something, some stupid shit. Uh, it had to be something strong, right? You can either eat something with like, you know, lemon juice. You can eat a lot of garlic. You can eat a lot of onion. You can have meatballs with sauce on top. Something heavy that's got to remove literally a layer of your mouth. And then uh, you will not have the cigar smell. You'll have food smell instead. 
And food smells are easy to get rid of, right? Chew gum, you're done. So that's the trick I use to get rid of some smell on me, uh, especially when I travel, because I have the same two jeans. I can't walk out every single morning and smell like cigar. So yeah, I make sure I go back to the hotel first thing is to spray it and spread it, turn it around, spray it, and just leave it on the sofa. And the next day morning, it smells great. So hope that helps you. And that will be it for this particular episode of basic question that cigar people want to know. And I hope that answers your question. And if it does, and it helps you, and it helps any other people that's getting into cigars, please make sure to like and comment and share, you know, and uh, super thanks if you want, or uh, join the uh, Alliance of the Legion if you want. Do all that stuff. But likes are free. So uh, I hope you guys do that, and I hope you guys subscribe. And give me more ideas in the comments what kind of question you have and I'll make sure to answer them, okay? So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.